so this man been making fucking waves on making the internet. Waves, man. You know you're making waves when I haven't seen one video of this dude and I hear about his name all the time. All the fucking time. Bro, if I go through YouTube shorts, this the all, Andrew Tate clips. All the time. Yeah. All the time. I can't get rid of the motherfucker, bro. But um uh, let's see what he's about. You let's, know? See, let's see what the life is about. We change that. You will only even acknowledge he exists if he's ignored how he feels 99% of the time before that. Because if he was sad most of the time before that, he never would have got to a place where he could attract a woman like you. The man who works in Starbucks, who's sad all the time, you won't reply to him. Ne neither will any other female. So for women to come along and pretend they give a about the fact that most men are basic most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four, overweight, fat, you'll still go to the club and get attention. 99% of the men go to the club and nobody even can talk to them. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and told them. Most men are absolutely not really invisible. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men. I know that this guy is arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. So if you just sit here and say, I'll get a G, a big G, a boss, a millionaire, and let him have a day off, very nice of you. I'm sure you would. Yeah. But if you got, if a guy who wanted to have days off all the time, he never would have got important enough in the first place to attract a woman like you. And that is the reality. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it works. There's no such thing as saying, I'm sad, I need two weeks off. Not as a man, if you want to be important. I mean, if 12 tigers... Hey, where was Elijah at? Damn. The worst part about shit like this, that motherfucker not lying, dog. He not lying? He not lying, bro. And um, if, you, if, you, if you think he's lying, then do a social experiment with your female friends, your male friends. Okay. Go to the bar and be like, yo, I want some pussy. Oh no, don't don't say that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You prove my point. You prove no, my but point. that's a little extreme. Though. No, but that's what I'm saying. If a girl say, I want some dick, and you niggas and, gonna jump on it. But hold on. But okay. like he said, like yeah. if it's some girl, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, we don't really, yeah, shout out to the ladies. We don't really like, you know. Mm. But if it's some girl that, let's say, that society deem as, you know, not attractive. Bro, she get, bro, if she says she wants some dick in the club or at the bar, she gonna get that dick, bro. But that's <laughs> different though, because that's like sexual. You know what I'm saying? That's but that's the point you trying to make. No, but is that the woman's fault or our fault? For jumping on a bitch that say I want some dick. Bro, the, the, it's because I wouldn't blame a female if she didn't want to jump on a nigga that said I want some pussy. But th that's the but alright. So that's the that's the way life is programmed though. No, I would but I, I get what you're saying, but that's yeah. an extreme example. I would probably do an example like as far as like um, women being approachable, like he said, most men feel invisible mm -hmm. unless they get some type of success. Yeah, a woman don't need that because mm -hmm. they just look pretty. Like you'll talk to a girl. I, in this instance, a dude don't care how much money a girl making. A dude don't care what a girl's social status is. We don't care about none of that shit. True. The most materialistic shit we care about is the looks, which everybody cares about. Attraction. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of niggas are different, but 95% of dudes, we do feel self-conscious about that shit. If we're going to keep it above. Mm -hmm. It's competition. We're yeah. Trying, we're trying to get rich. We're trying to get all this money because we feel like that's what we need to attract women. Women, on the other hand, they don't need that shit. They don't yeah. understand that that shit could cause depression, you feeling less than, not saying they don't have their own problems, but we have our shits too. It's like, not all men are, are dogs. Y'all talk about the rich niggas. The eggs, and that's the point. It's like, you can't be, I'm not gonna say you can't. You can't be generalizing? You, well, not, not that. It's like, I just wish, I just wish that uh, women would kind of more understand. It's like, it's a reason he's arrogant though. Because he worked so hard for that, and then now a shorty can't tell him he's in the position to do that. I mean, yeah, he, and 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 some women gotta take some self responsibility of why these men are arrogant. It's because not all women, of course, but the women that are allowing them access, they feel like they the man. If you got ninety five percent of the chicks talking to you, 
you feel like you could fuck any girl. That's what I'm saying. You work for that shit. But most of us in real life <laughs> know that's not, that's not true. Happened. You know that's what I'm saying? Happened, like yeah. most of us are not. I mean, so it's a lot of dudes that's assholes, but not all of us are assholes. Y'all talking about when y'all generalize people, and men, we do the same thing too. But since we're on a topic, when y'all generalize people, y'all talking about the top 2% like Andrew Tate said. Y'all talking about the rich niggas that already got mad options. And so yep. we're doing that. Anytime y'all talk about a broke nigga, she too. But what, what she's talking about, I get what he's saying. Not yeah. saying that I don't know this dude, so I don't know all his beliefs. But in that one clip, I agree with what he said. In that yeah, clip. facts. Let's see what else he's Attack me, and I managed to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido, and the last tiger gets my neck. That's a, that's a fine way for Tate to die. Ah, ah, you cheated, you cheated. It's bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. But shut up, bitch! Why would you suck dick for free? <laughs> Whoa, we just took a whole... <laughs> <laughs> Was he trolling? Was he dead ass? Serious? I don't know. Well, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't agree no. with putting no hands on a woman. I don't agree with that. Yeah. But he he said she took out a machete or some shit like that. Well, no, what they? Let's let's move on. Yeah, let's let's make on sure, let's make sure because we go we try to get better for yeah, it now. Get the better context. What he's saying. Take the dot. Ah, ah, you cheated! You cheated! It's bang out the machete. Boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. But shut up, bitch! Why? Uh, nah, nah, nah. Is he talking nah. about self defense? But the way he presented it is kind of. Yeah, like, because, alright, so if she has the machete in her hand, mm -hmm. and you knock the machete out of her hand, mm -hmm. okay, fine. Right. Why you gotta hit her after that and choke her? <laughs> yeah, like, what's up? Like, so what, I cheated, bitch? Shut up. <laughs> That's. You know, I, I thought he was going self defense route. Yeah. And then he, he kind of took a little personal. Yeah, I don't, fuck up. I don't agree with that one. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But, um. Yeah, let's just move on. That's crazy. Why would you suck dick for free? Because I love doing it. What the fuck? I don't like. What the fuck? I love sucking dick. Why would yeah. I? Yeah! He better not fuck this up for us. Don't you fuck this up for us, Andrew Tate. Talk about no, your prize. You better not say no shit like let's that. Let's see what she say. Let's see what he say. You better not. This is interesting. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. Please get paid for it, right? I am getting paid for it on fucking OnlyFans. I don't need to, them to pay me. I make way more than they could ever give me. Fans. They get paid twice. I don't believe. I, I don't agree with that. Relax. Like, you, you owe them. Like, come on. Just because you got the money, niggas ain't trying to pay girls from head down. Because Andrew Tate said, every time you should charge a nigga for head. Come on. Come on, son. What are you doing, son? I thought you was on our side. What are you doing, bro? Nah, I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't mad at that one, though. No, what? I ain't mad at that one, though. So every time you get head, right? Let's say if he had that type of influence. Yeah. He's influencing girls uh -huh. to be like, you know what? Why are you sucking this nigga dick for free? You should get paid for it. No, nah, I mean, because you that, that girl, that girl right there, yeah. because I know her, I know her history. I know who that girl is. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is, she's a super thought. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? So that's what he's trying to say about it. So like, I understand the context of what he's saying. Oh, so he's saying... Since you you're were already, going, yeah, you're already, you might as well and she's fucking with millionaires. Okay. So I don't understand why she said the dudes can't pay her. Like, you know. I mean, but I if mean, she want to suck dick for free, let her suck dick for free. Who, who cares? Nah, I, I, why everybody gotta get paid? Why, why she? Why everybody gotta charge everybody? That's not realistic. But she a super thought though. Like yeah, she, she it, does this. She a super thought. So niggas probably definitely not gonna want to pay her now. Imagine if she, you were super thought and then one day you like, all right, let me charge you. Hold on, you just like, like 19 niggas get paid for free, bitch. What are you talking but, about? But, but, but. She might I, lose business. It's like, <laughs> she might lose business. <laughs> but there's like a tear list that's like, it's like, all right. So you, she got the celebrities, right? Okay. There's like a tear under that, like the scammers mm -hmm. or like the, the dudes that be in the mix. Oh, so she'll charge the scammers. She'll charge the scammers and the okay. dudes that's in the mix and she could, you know. I just you know? feel like you Because think about it, right? Mm -hmm. He kind of right though because. She can't do that forever. Her looks is going to diminish. So might as well save up as much as you can. True, right but now. it's like most women that be charging niggas for sex like that, they don't be doing that well either. She says she makes enough money on OnlyFans. She got clout. Some of them girls She's are probably only... building relationships. Some of them girls are only millionaires now, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm so, saying. Yeah, yeah. So she probably got she probably make enough money um Well it's nothing to her. Well it's nothing to her. 
she's probably building relationships. Yeah. She got a good rapport with niggas. Oh, yeah. shit, we get free head and all that. She probably gonna land a party. She's probably building relationships. There's yeah. other ways to do it, to, to be home with. It's that shit. You know what I'm saying? True. I mean, but. You know what I'm saying? But the bitches that, that charge, was, man, If that was one of my. Because if that was one of my. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Like, you a millionaire, right? If I'm pimping her out, if that's one of my girls. Okay, she but, got, but you a pimp, though. That's yeah. different. All right, so cool. Because that's. She, she fucking with your money. Yeah. You a pimp. But if you were NBA player or you were an actor, you were a rapper, right? Yeah. And you got the doc that's charging you, and you got they both give head. Mm -hmm. They both give amazing head. Yeah. But you got the one that do it because she loves it, mm -hmm. and the one that's just doing it because you paying her. Yeah, the one. Which that's one like, you going? Which one you you bring in more to like yo? I pull up to the one, the, yeah, know, pull up course, to the spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, of course, the one that you know what I'm saying. But I'm saying like if I was in a position where I can you know benefit off of her. Um, that, but that's totally different. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's totally I'm looking different. on that side. But but he's looking on her side, which she could gain out of it. But she could probably gain in a bunch of relationships. He sounds like he it's pimping. It's not like he pimping, bro. I think I mean, he, 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 he he could be he probably is a pimp. He probably got girls that's doing. I mean he's doing really well for himself. I heard he used to be a kickboxer too. So Yeah. In depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. Your house is only haunted if you believe in ghosts. Belief is a powerful thing. I were to stand in front of you and I were to tell you that I could punch you as hard as I can in your sternum and I could fracture it and send a splinter into your heart. Would you allow me to try? <laughs> you wouldn't because you know I believe I can. I believe I can hurt any man on the planet. And that's why people are afraid of me. And you believe depression is a crippling disease. And that's why you're afraid of it. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans. As long as I had influence and control over it. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, that's what I'm saying. He sound like so he's talking. Yeah. But that's why I say if he's talking in that context, I agree with him. Cause yeah, he, that, that, he's that's trying to get money off. Exactly. Him. But if a girl is a smart enough thought, you realize you a pimp. You know, yeah, a pimp is worthless. You know, you really but at the same time, back in the day, you did. Yeah, but now, shit. yeah, you're really. You yeah. gotta sell pussy to be a millionaire. Crazy, like you bro. literally don't even have to fuck on Bro, women, oh, y'all winning so hard. Winning now with social media and the internet. Women are winning, you bro. Got, yeah. Jesus Christ, they winning. Talk about get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. Huh? If my chick said I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? Ten grand, or right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would what eight? woman is gonna give you eight grand? You're my woman. You're doing OnlyFans. You're selling my product. What the fuck? Your product. Yes, you correct. Know, just, just Next question. No. See, I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever gonna give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. Imagine one day you're sitting in Paris and having a fucking coffee. I mean, terrorist role. on that clip, that's him. And now if the girl agree with it, that's her stupid ass fault. True. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, just saying, there is some women that would agree with that. There's a lot of that. women that would agree with that. But yeah. That's kind of like a pimp culture, a yeah. pimp mindset. Like, yeah. okay, well, this is my pussy when we know the pussy is never really yours. Ever. You know what I'm saying? It's just your turn. It's your turn. You know what I'm saying? But he's, he's saying the pussy says, give me a grand. Now, if he has a woman that would do that, that's they shit. I don't agree with it because one, if you do allow your girl to do her OnlyFans, well, you can't really allow them. Like, if you, if you do it the only have. thing you can say is if you, I'm not okay with this, so if you do it, I'm going to leave. That's it. Yeah, so that's all you really can say. That's it. Like, and if he says, "Oh yeah, you can do it," just give me, you know, give me the, the bread. Mm -hmm. That man don't give a fuck about you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you just another. So you just another make his shit. money. He's leaving either way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think he's talking in, in more line of a pimp. Yeah, he on his pimp and shit. Through their caves, the first thing next year is a brains bump. We be standing there like. Waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be like, bang, I've oh, seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out, next, get the AK, go Rambo, take out all of fucking Pakistan with a G. I don't think the world has ever been able that the modern society we live in has been built by men. Let's cut the crap. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built. All of it. 
when women come along and say, oh, we're, we're just as important, you are just as important. You do have a completely different role. You fulfill a different role in society. And I think now, if you look at the roles of society, I believe men are still doing their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. Men are still out here building the modern world. But when they come home now, the girl's like, oh, why should I cook for you? Would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? I'm a high value woman, right? <laughs> How can we be high value? Nigga, funny, bitch. Nah, this, this dude, this dude reeks of pimp mentality, bro. Yeah, yeah, Holy pimp. shit. I've just been single for a long time. Why is it unacceptable? Why is it unacceptable? Why is it unacceptable? There is someone who is your age, may look a bit like you. Who was just given some bad fucking news? Either they were just given a cancer diagnosis and given two weeks to live, or the police just knocked on the door and said, "Your family's yeah." A, a cement truck ran them all over, or splattered all over the road. My family, yeah, all of them. I guarantee a bomb in Syria or a chemical attack in Yemen. There's someone your age who just got given some bad fucking news. And if you were to sit there and explain to them your problems, Ooh. they would swap lives with you Ooh. in a heartbeat. Shit. This is what most of you motherfuckers don't understand. You're not grateful for what you have, but you don't understand and don't anticipate that there's someone out there who will do anything to have what you have. I'm not even talking about me with my Lambo and my beautiful women and all my shit. I'm talking about just a normal, safe life where you can watch Tate Speech YouTube videos and no one's going to bomb your house. There are people who would do anything to trade with you. And if you were to sit there and try and explain to them all your problems, yeah, but you don't want to, I'm depressed, and, it's, and, it's, and I have no girlfriend, and it's hard to make money, and, and my life's hard, and you were to tell them all your stupid reasons that you don't like your life, they'd sit there and listen to them all and go, okay, yeah, no problem, let's swap, and they'd sign on the dotted line. Some child is out. Happiness is all perspective, man. Yeah, that's true. Happiness is all but perspective. I get what, I get what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, I understand it, I understand. Um, I get what he's saying. Me too. But you know, I agree with you what you're saying. So yeah. That's a complicated It's mad complicated. It's complicated mad situation. complicated. I, I get where he's coming from with his approach. Because mm -hmm. I used to say the same thing. You know, the, you know, um what? it's kinda like when people say, Oh, imagine kids in Africa, how they feel like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, kinda like, like that. The reason I don't like statements like that is because if someone is feeling down mm -hmm. and then you just go up to them and be like, Well, at least at least you you're not homeless. You mm -hmm. like Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like, you know, dismissing my, my feelings. But it's like, I do understand where he's coming from. Like, you know, you gotta, it's a, bro, this shit is just balanced. You gotta be balanced. You gotta yeah, want yeah, more yeah. and you gotta understand that you're blessed. So. Right, true. Side enjoying their life, playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. Anyway, you're all losers. We've, we've discussed this before. I'm the king of the world. You don't go to the club the with your friends. I don't know what kind of bitch ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends loudly. No. Stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You know, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. Because life for a man is harder than life for a woman. Most men live depressing lives. For most men out here, they can't even feel wanted. Their wife left them. They're invisible to women. Their kids don't talk to them. They're just not wanted. Society has huge burdens on men. We're supposed to be smart. We're supposed to be rich. We're supposed to be interesting. We've got to have jokes, got to have chat lines, right? Got to be charming, got to be cool, experiences, stories. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. I got a message on Instagram. I don't want to sit a woman, man, but. That he not lying, he though. Lying he's like, he's, he's, not, not, he's, not, he's not lying. He's not lying. On that. He's not that's lying. So he not lying, bro. Like out here, like, ah oh, man, I don't, I don't want to get into this topic, but like out here, like, out here, like women talk to me about some shit, and like we'll talk about you know the men, women, the band. They'll be like, oh, but we gotta cook and clean for y'all. We have to, uh, um, uh, we have to um, uh, support the baby. But it's like, yeah, you gotta do a lot of work at that time. You dis you dismissing like dismissing the work I had to do to even get up to this, up to point. this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I had to become interesting. I had to step out my comfort zone so much times. I had to make money. Mm -hmm. I had to look good. I had to make sure that you protected, you provided for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
the work is gonna reciprocate. When, yeah. Like Nick, like niggas, ha- well, men have to work hard to get to that point. Women have to work hard to like maintain mm-hmm. the household. Like it all adds up. Like right. eventually, and that's if you want that lifestyle. Yeah, that's if, if, you, yeah. if you want the traditional housewife um, lifestyle, then that's the lifestyle. You gotta understand that if you want a man that provides. You have to bring something, and I know women do not like hearing bring something to the table. Yeah, they, yeah. If a nigga, if that's what anybody like, if if you working hard for your money, even with niggas, they be having house niggas now, right? Like house, house, house. yeah, house. Niggas. So if you a woman, put yourself in our shoes. If yep, yep. Say and it. you a woman, and let's say okay, you don't mind. If he don't got a job, which is like yep. 95.9%. Talk that really shit. Talk ain't that going to agree with that. But let's say he does everything else. The reason why you're putting up with that is because he's doing everything else. Talk he's that shit. in the house. Yeah. He's taking care of the kids. He's doing all the other extra necessities. So when you get home, you know that's taken care of. He's doing his part. I feel like relationships is just based on negotiation. What your roles is gonna be? That's exactly. You what can't is. have somebody doing a hundred percent, and you just say, "Well, my presence is enough." Yeah. Hell no. I could get a bad bitch Facts. anywhere. If I'm a millionaire, I could get any girl that looks like exactly. you, or better than you, that does more than you. So, like, besides you just being like, oh, "I'm pretty," like, yeah. what else do you do? Like, and they giving me pussy on my birthday. Ooh. <laughs> like, oh. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like it's more situational. Negotiate. Whatever yeah. you accept and what they provide is, is what it is. But yeah, he talking that shit, bro. He talking that shit. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. And it's a whole, like, for me, like, women go through a lot. We're not, I'm not dismissing yeah, cool. that. Women go through a lot, bro. But I'm saying, um, bro, like, I don't think women understand how hard it is for men to really not say shit. Like, you know, like, I think a lot of men want to... This is why... Great example. This is why guys like him, Kevin Samuels, Fresh and Fit, this is why they're this popular as fuck. Yeah. Because a lot of niggas feel like this. Mm. Mad niggas feel like this. They just don't want to say it because they don't want to get canceled. They want pussy. So they just go agree with everything that women say. It's like, yeah, bro. Like, yo, you know how much dudes I met? And we were, we were girls and they'd be like, yo, Kevin Samuels a sucker. Mm. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to <laughs> Kevin Samuels big facts, boy. Every time, bro. And the bro, there was this dude I was with. He was with his shorty, right? Yeah. And he was like, nah, I don't fuck with Kevin Samuels. He was like, yo, so I've been trying to tell him. Like, you mm-hmm. should probably listen to Kevin Samuels a couple times. And it's not even like we agree with everything they say. It's like sometimes it'd be like, okay. Yeah, him know, like violating. Yeah, you ain't got to violate. You know what I'm saying? But it's like we agree on certain things. Certain, certain things is relatable. That's basically what it is. Like, yeah. We not hardcore like them niggas that be yeah, like, like fuck women like I would never yeah, say never. no shit. Like, These simps like yeah, I don't pimping women out. That's not my thing. Yeah, that ain't my thing. Mm-hmm. And then like him saying that she can't leave the house with her friends like that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. But that's I don't do just make sure she got a she got a snap story posted. If she oh yeah, post yeah, 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 yeah. Her location gotta be on. <laughs> and I I have to look at her text messages after. <laughs> Instagram and it was from a young 17 year old and he said I'll do anything I want to be mafia like you can we work together I sat there and said to Tristan why does everyone think we're mafia we're not mafia like we don't run around with machine guns I mean obviously we have guns our house is full of machines are we mafia anyway I don't think I don't think I'm mafia so I said to Tristan look we're not mafia Tristan goes yes we are I said why he goes we're two huge fighting brothers with women naked on the internet, who own casinos, who drive around Booker S. Romania in over $2 million worth of fucking supercars. Everyone's afraid of us. And if anyone did piss us off at any point, even if we didn't want to fuck them up ourselves, we can make one phone call and they'd either be in a ditch or lose their any right to stay here, they'd have some visa issue and be kicked out of the country, or arrested for no reason and put in a jail cell for months at a time. We are basically as mafia as you can get. So I guess I'm mafia. I didn't mean to be. So I was sitting there going, well, I never intended on being an organized criminal. How do you end up being mafia? And I've concluded that if you are competent in every single sphere, you're going to be viewed as mafia. If you're a big, strong, smart, rich guy who's super well connected, how can you not be mafia? How can you not be when everyone wants to know you? Who doesn't want to know the kickboxing world champion walks into a club with 20 big booty cuties? Everyone wants to know me. The mafia want to know me. So I don't need to be mafia if all my friends are mafia.
and also the idea of the first. That's a solid point. Like, because if you, if you, uh, <clears throat> if you hit all facets in life, that could probably be where you end up. Because, for instance, like a guy like Drake. Mm -hmm. Like, Drake is not no gangster or anything like that. They're not mafia, though. Who? Mm -hmm. These niggas? These guys, no. No, they, they're not. They're not. Mm -hmm. But I understand what he said. A pair. A pair. To yeah, be. A, pair, a pair to be mafia. Because <laughs> mafia, oh, mafia. man. Trust me, it was a point where I was just binge watching. Yo, Those they the different, dogs, bro. Them niggas is different. I looked at DJ <laughs> uh, last <laughs> Sammy the Bull's interview. Sammy the Bull, all of them niggas. Them dudes is different, them bro. Them niggas, like... I think I it started with Sammy the Bull, and I just started going a rabbit hole. With this one. Yeah, nah, bro, they different, bro. Like them narco niggas, and them bro, they different. They different, but he, he he's not mafia. But I understand what he says. No, I understand yeah. the concept. Yeah, it's like you seem like you're untouchable. Bro. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you're the man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? you're that guy. Because even the president, like you know what I'm saying? Like he, president, not mafia, but you can understand like why people be like, oh man, like you know, mm -hmm. you don't want to, you just don't want to fuck with rich, powerful men, bro. You don't want to. You don't want to do that. Member of color in this family. We all knew it was coming. It's to get out of jail free card of the modern world. Megan, you're lighter than me. Look at her face. She's white. She's basically white. Megan, no one looks at you and thinks black girl. Nobody. Don't try the black person card. If you're black and you're watching this, you should be very offended that this light skinned woman is going to try and play the black card. I was victimized because I am a Negro. Look at your straight hair. If you're so black, season me some chicken, bitch. And when it comes back, <laughs> yo, this thing is black. <laughs> then we will know. We'll know conclusively. You ain't black. Stop saying it. You're a liar. And now she's acting like Wait, he's he called her a liar <laughs> saying she's not black? Megan Sorris. Wait, let me see. You ain't black. Stop saying it. it. He said season me some chicken. Black. Tasteless. Tasteless, bro. Straight hair. You're so black. Who's the girl? Like? It's gonna try and play the black card. I was victimized. To white. <laughs> yeah, she she put passion. I think she is she mixed. I don't know. Yeah, she mixed. That's the um, that's the prince. Uh, the prince. Um, his wife. I forgot. Oh, that's her. Yeah, the prince that looked like um, Carson Wentz. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's his. That's his shorty. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that was the end of the video anyway, right? Yeah, because, you know, she's the first black to marry into the oh, family. Oh, yeah, but she's... Okay, I get what he's saying. Yeah. He, he, she's not really super black. Yeah. But she's black, though. She is, she is black. black. Yeah, she but I black. get what he's saying, though. <laughs> like, you're not, like... Yeah, she looks... You could pass off as something... Super. You know super. what I'm saying? I get what he's saying. He said, season me some chicken. Some Tasteless. Chicken. Bland. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... This was an interesting watch. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I kind of want to do more of Andrew Tate. I'm not yeah, gonna lie to you. He's an interesting character. character. He's a he's a character for real. Yeah, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. Holla at your boys, man. Uh, comment um, if you guys want us to do some more Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. Give a like. You know, give a um, you know, subscribe, bro. You know, and uh, tell us um, who you think has it harder in life right now, men or women. You know, uh, let us know in the comments. Holla at your boys. Don't trust our opinion. We out of here. Yeah.